Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings be upon each and every single one of you. This is your brother in faith, Isa ibn Matta, here for a special edition of How Do I Know Why Islam. You know, the month of Ramadan is really the month of Quran, right? And the Quran is the holy book Muslims believe to be revealed by the creator of the universe. And Oftentimes when we talk about religious texts, we may think that it's a very subjective discussion. Oh, they just believe this thing in their book. And many people, they reach a lot of conclusions about the Quran, both without ever reading an English or other, uh, like maybe Spanish translation of the book. But the heart of the Quran comes from its understanding in Arabic, right? And so while many people use that jaded or misinformed position of the Quran to reach several conclusions about what they think Islam is, what Islam stands for, the first thing is the beautiful, overwhelming majority of all Muslims are the greatest proof that Islam is indeed a religion of peace. But more so than that, it's the greatest proof of what the message of Islam is, which is belief in one God. But how do I know the Quran is actually divine? How do I know that it's real? And this is a part of a much larger discussion, but I just want to introduce you to four primary principles on how I know the Quran is divine, not from a human being, something that is uh, not something just for Arabs, not just something from the uh, 7th century, but something that was revealed by God Almighty with the singular message of worship, the creator of everything that exists alone without any co-equals, partners, or intermediaries. The first proof for this is the preservation of the Quran. And we have a lot of things in human history that have been preserved. For example, the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights. Uh, we have portions of the Iliad uh, by Homer and the Odyssey, uh, Homer's epic. You know, we have a lot of things historically that have been preserved from everyone, from the Sumerians all the way up to recent history, uh, Native Americans, so on and so forth. But the preservation of the Quran is unique, not in its text, not even in its oral tradition, but in the number of people on the face of the planet that have it memorized to this very day, as well as the connection from us that goes all the way back to its original recitation some 14 centuries ago. And that chain of transmission in strict check of authenticity of the Quran, and subsequently also in the Hadith, the prophetic narrations from Muhammad, his companions, and the people who came after them, is not something that you'll really find so nuanced and so intricate really in anything else. The second way that I know that the Quran is divine is that it is immutable, meaning that it's not something that can be changed. If uh, a person doesn't know Arabic, I'll just use some jargon that we can all relate to. If I change one dot or over a squiggly line, or if I change one line over another dot, then I've actually completely changed the way that this book is recited, the way that it's read. And those changes are so strict that it can literally uh, fundamentally corrupt the meaning of what is being said. And so from its preservation to the fact that it cannot be changed is the reason why no matter where I go in the world, we will all recite the same Quran, regardless of our culture, regardless of our nationality, our ethnicity, or even our mother tongue. The third way that I know that the Quran is real is the fact that it is inimitable. It's not something that can be replicated. And we have a lot of fantastic works that have been written in human history, but the level of depth that you will find in the verses of the Quran in the Arabic language and its respective tafsir and ta'wil or tawail, its interpolations and exegesis and the meanings that we can extrapolate from it, not just from scientific miracles, not just from numerical miracles, but the significance of what is actually there, the way that it's recited, the meanings that can be extrapolated from it, and how it connects from every single part of the book to itself, verses inside of itself explaining one another, and so on and so forth. There's so much depth within those 114 chapters, and I challenge you, really look into it, not from a biased perspective, not from a Western secularized perspective, not from an atheistic perspective, uh, not from an Orientalist perspective, or not even from a Muslim perspective, but really just look into it. And you will find that people, Muslim, non-Muslim alike, historically, have pointed out the eloquence in depth of the Quran. It's not something that any other book on the face of the planet possesses. And the last proof 
for why I know the Qur'an is divine is the fact that it is prophetic. The prophetic nature of the Qur'an itself is the main reason that we as Muslims believe that it is from God. There are things that were prophesied and talked about in the Qur'an that there is no way that a man in the middle of a desert 14 centuries ago could have known it. It couldn't have learned about the things that he says uh, when it comes to elements of other faith groups uh, just from being around them. Couldn't have known the things about science that we've discovered even within just the 20th and 21st century alone. There's no way that a man in the middle of the desert would have been able to make the claims that the Quran has about just the progression of the religion of Islam in the world. Something that is not found literally in any anything. Not in governance, not in imperialism, and definitely not in religion. These are just four of several points that we could make on how I know the Quran is divine and how I know that the Quran was revealed by the creator of everything that exists. And hopefully we'll be able to have further discussions about not just what the Quran is, but what it says and why that's important for me and why that is important for you. Thank you so much for your time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.